Professor Danielle George is a professor of radio frequency engineering in the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering and associate dean for teaching and learning at the University of Manchester. And now she's urging the government to tackle the £1.5 billion engineering skills shortage through primary and secondary education drive. And she's on the line with us here to talk about that. How are you today? I'm very well, Toby. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. So what should the government be doing to tackle this skills shortage in engineering? What they should be doing is listening to our campaign. You know, the Engineering Kids Future campaign is an IET campaign. It calls for government to help tackle the UK's engineering skill shortage. And we want them to do that by embedding engineering into the current primary and secondary school learning. Um, You know, we think this is vital. It allows uh, children to understand the real world applications of subjects they know. You know, they, they are taught science, math, design, technology, and they love them. Um, And it's just making that connection with those subjects and putting um, their application to the world in which we live. So we need more engineers. This campaign calls for the government to help tackle that shortage. Um, The aim is to significantly increase the number of quality engineers and technicians entering the workforce. Um, And we believe that can only be done by letting young people see the opportunities that a career in in engineering presents to them. You know, children are ingenious, Toby, aren't they? You know, they they have great imaginations. They're really creative. um, And that's what engineering is. And we need more of it. So we need children to be infused and to stay infused about engineering. So they do think about possible careers in engineering and technology so they can be the next generation. Why do you think there is a skills shortage at the moment? Is it simply because of... Of a lack of government action or is there more to it than that? Well, the engineering economy accounts for about 26% of all UK employment um, and it adds around £645 billion to, to the UK annual economy. Um, but there is this shortfall of 173,000 workers in the STEM sector. So if you think about it, that's an average of 10 unfulfilled roles per business in the wow. UK. And that that's staggering, isn't it? So, yeah. so we know that almost half of the engineering businesses are experiencing difficulties in their skills available to them when they're trying to recruit. We've tracked this sort of skill challenge at the IET for, for over 15 years now. Um, and that's why we sort of say we need to ensure that we're doing this at the right stage you know we want to go all the way back to primary school get children involved right from primary school and we need the government to help us with that we need changes in the national curriculum Uh, we need um, engineering training for teachers we need bursaries and scholarships to value um, engineering as well so we need government to help us with it are we seeing an increase in the amount of jobs that you can do through engineering yeah i mean there is so many so many engineering jobs you know t- today <laughs> engineering jobs cover everything don't they from from designing future cities innovative transport coming up with new healthcare technologies exploring space you know um it's there are so many things i think what's really really exciting about it is with engineering and technology it changes all the time so the jobs are developing all the time so the jobs we might see in the future may not even exist at the minute so so it feels like there's just an opportunity for everybody engineering is one of the most interesting fields isn't it really i mean you're a professor of radio frequency engineering <laughs> which just makes me want to study that just reading that <laughs> It is brilliant. I mean, engineers are ingenious. You know, they <laughs> they bring ideas to life. They turn dreams into reality. They make solutions to big challenges possible. You know, and engineers design, invent, fix, and improve things. And they are constantly changing people's lives and our world for the better. What we want to do with this campaign is say to children, do you want to change lives? Do you want to make the world a better place? Become an engineer. There's a job for you. Yeah. Now, 60% of parents also believe that schools don't do enough to encourage young girls. And I guess that's Mm. kind of important because engineering is probably mainly men that are in that. Yeah, I mean, historically, that's certainly been true. It has been a a male-dominated environment. Um, I think that's changed. There's loads of different initiatives that are happening. The IET do lots, lots of other professional institutions do as well. Um, But we've still got a long way to go with it. I think for parents, it's a... 
there's a, a sort of a confidence thing as well. You know, many of the parents will say um, it's been more than 10 years since they've learned anything about engineering or technology. So they don't really have that confidence to to talk about, about engineering and technology with the children. What yeah. we've got to get across to parents is you don't have to be the expert. What you have to do is just be um, supportive of, of your children and just have the confidence just to try something. And if it fails, well, does it matter? You know, we, we have confidence. You know, I'm a parent. I have confidence to to go into my kitchen and bake some cakes, you know, on a Saturday afternoon. And if they come out burned, well, I've had a great time with my child. We've baked and we've learned things and, you know, we've had fun and, and there'll be something that's come out of it, you know, some learning thing that's come out of it. What we need to, to get across to parents as well is just have the confidence to do that with a little bit of electronics as well. And if it, and if it doesn't work or you burn a resistor or, you know, whatever, well, it's fine. You know, it's, it's been fun. Your children will learn something along the way. As a parent, can you refresh your own knowledge? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, there, there's so much information. Um, there's, there's lots of education resources that, that parents can access as well for themselves, um, not just for, for their children. Um, and there's there's so much available. I mean, on, on the IET website, there's there's a huge amount of education resources. And like I say, in lots of other sort of professional bodies as well. Um, so and there's great. There's a lot of really accessible books, I think, these days as well that are that are fun to read. You know, they're, they're, they've got a lot of fact, but there's a lot of fun created around it as well. So I think there's quite a lot of resources out there. Well, where can we go to find all these resources and all the information that we need? The IET. So it's uh, W www.theiet.org um, forward slash engineering kids futures you'll hear see all about it there and there'll be links to education resources as well excellent well many thanks for talking to us today it's been great to have you on thanks so much toby thank you